What's going on? This is Bonesicle. Welcome back. We are playing through Max Payne 3 on hard difficulty and we are getting all the clues and all the gold guns in the process and I also want to try to talk you through all of the trophies that happen along the way. Here's one coming up right here. As soon as you start chapter 2, there's a trophy if you can kill all six of these people uh, when you jump out the window right here. And uh, I want to point out that if, you, if you're not trying to get the trophy and if you don't kill them all then what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up lying on your side as you see right here and you don't have any cover at all so that kinda sucks uh, but if you are trying to get the trophy and you fail just uh, pause it hit restart checkpoint it's that simple uh, so I want to show you what that looked like but it is a really easy um, trophy to get because for one thing you pretty much have like infinite ammo in this one little section right here so you don't have to get headshots um, I mean, I just kind of looked up and did, but I mean, you can just like just pop shots at these people, just open fire on them. It's just six guys right there. You see, there's like four up the steps and then two up here. See my gold Taurus that we collected uh, in chapter one. I think I shot him in the armpit. That's a through and through. And uh, you will get a bullet cam once you hit the last one. And uh, as soon as that happens, you need to get up and bling, quickly run back here behind the DJ station and uh, grab this gold gun part and then quickly run to the next section. This entire first half of chapter two uh, requires you to constantly be moving. So I'm going to show you exactly where everything is, exactly where the pain killers are, the stuff that you need to get so that you don't waste time. Uh, you run up here, that triggers a cutscene, you can skip, and then you're in the open right here, so you want to kill this guy really quickly um, It's in front of you. I do it while I'm running kind of forward and to my left, because I like to uh, kind of have the cover of the bottom of this wall uh, right here, and once you kill the last guy on this little part right here, Max will start talking, and you know that's your cue to go ahead and move up the steps. And um, another way out through the VIP lounge. right up here, we're going to run up these I steps. Like There's going to be one more guy up these next steps up here around your left, right straight ahead. So make sure you're prepared for him. Go ahead and kill him. And then we can pick up the goodies in here. We got painkillers on the counter. There's a gold gun right back here behind the bar. There's two clues in here. There's one right here. It was your tip um, trendy hellhole. And once again, like I said, if you stand around, uh, you will fail this section but for some reason Max has all day to just stand around and soliloquize about all the clues that he notices uh, it's ridiculous so anyway grab that and then run over here the next clue is uh, this dead guy Claudio uh, who got shot in the cutscene that was skipped so we're gonna check out his corpse and admire him lying there dead uh, for a couple of minutes there you go thank you Max then we can proceed, and you're going to want to watch for guys around your left up here. Okay, uh, there will be a bullet cam once we have obliterated everyone in this little section right here. So that's helpful to notice if you're not seeing a bullet cam, then that means there's still an enemy out there somewhere. Not a bad idea to run up here and take cover, except for the fact that uh, sometimes the game sticks you into cover. And you can't get out. I don't know what's up with that, but... Uh, Slow motion. Well, it always tells the truth. Ouch. And uh, yeah, here we go. I'm stuck on the wall right here. I'm hitting every button. You can't tell, but like finally it lets me get off. And uh, I'm going to head on out here. I'm going to pick up this micro. Even though I'm not going to use it. I really like that 9mm. Uh, gold Taurus that we have. We're going to come through here. That's another cutscene that you can skip and once again you're out in the open and you need to kill this guy in front of you really quickly before he has a chance to damage you uh, because you don't have anything to take cover on and I did not have much bullet time right there to be able to use but um, anyway creep around the left up here be ready for these guys watch right in the middle of the screen right here Boop, did you see all those people just pop up out of nowhere what's up with that so uh, there's a couple of guys to kill right here and um, once you kill them, you're going to need to move forward to spawn the rest. Uh, headshot. Yes, sir. And uh, this guy kind of creeps up on me. Ooh, I'm glad I had some bullet time. And I'm going to put a hole in his face. 
So, yeah, that's the last guy right there. We're going to need to proceed forward through this oval-shaped counter. There's some painkillers right in here on the left. See, bloop, I just grabbed them. And coming to this spot right here spawns the next little wave of people. You're going to get another bullet cam once you've killed uh, this group of guys. And uh, you'll notice I kind of hang back back here playing it a little cautiously for a while waiting for somebody to show up and uh, so they can take a long long nap let's see he's dead As you notice once I finally get bold and come out of cover what happens I get shot so I'm gonna pop some pills I hate taking cover at this spot because like it, it keeps messing me up where I can't uh, aim because of this pole right here so I get irritated and shoot dodge which I, I very rarely do I don't do a lot of shoot dodge but I decided I just wanted to kick back over here uh, chilling out max and relaxing and cool and just laid back and uh, boom watch this Whoop. what happened to the bullet right there I have no idea so uh, anyway this guy's gonna do some really cool gymnastic spinning backflip uh, thing right here and then before we proceed you want to make sure you turn around if you've uh, gone too far go up these pink steps back here it's gonna be a gold gun back here and even if you don't need it um, there's some painkillers back here too so it's not a bad idea to uh, head on back here and just stock up on those items if I can get through the door what's happening there so grab another piece of this 38 special it's got a barrel that's blue and cold um, hop over the railing right here saves a little bit of time and now we can proceed through here and there's two more clues back here one's in this purple door this is one of the tourist locations you actually can skip that and the second clue is a uh, it looked loud the torn piece of fabric on the end of the counter right here or whatever so make sure you grab both of those clues um, obviously there's one trophy for finding all the clues and then there's a separate trophy for getting all of the uh, tourist locations which is pretty cool so head through here grab these two painkillers out of the uh, locker right there and then we're gonna run up in the kitchen and take cover there's four guys right here there's not gonna be a bullet cam so you just keep count so I've killed two Here's the third one, and there's going to be a clue in here uh, to my right, to my immediate right on the counter to the right side of this wall. There's a clue. There's the fourth guy, and uh, he met a horrible end. And no, Max, the clue. Go back and get the clue, Max. Yes. There you go. Yeah, it's a newspaper. Ooh, there's a bar graph and a pie chart. Both of the same thing. In case you don't understand one, you can look at the other. And now we're going to head out here into the uh, restaurant area. Nice, fine establishment. You can skip this cutscene. I like to run over here and take cover to the right. Um, see where I go and then shoot this guy to my left right here. Well, let's give that key lime pie a day in court. And eat some more pain pills that's what we do in Japanese restaurants hibachi and once again once you kill everybody in here you're gonna get another bullet cam and uh, after you do that there's a gold gun to get and you really need to hustle and get your butt out of here and I'm gonna show you why I don't know what that guy's doing you see that he's not even paying attention so uh, he got shot in the back of the head I don't know what happened there but uh, yeah, like I said, if you if you don't run through this whole first section, um, you just fail because it's like you have to you know be chasing the girl down and get the girl back as fast as you can. And um, I'm gonna kill the last guy here in a minute. Get the bullet cam. Here we go. Slow motion. That's a permanent dimple for you. And then we're gonna grab the gold gun. I'm gonna show you where that's at in this uh, little circular area in the middle here where I've been taking cover and after you get it you need to head out because if you don't this is what's gonna happen I'm gonna show you the fail right here because uh, I'm just kinda like wasting time and running back and forth confused as where to go and throughout these videos I'm not gonna show you every time I fail and restart uh, but I'm doing it this yeah, point right here just for the specific purpose of 
illuminating you as to what's going on right here. So I'm going to put this in fast forward. Uh, because, uh, yeah, I hit restart and killed all these guys again. So glorious. And, uh, then like I said, there's some painkillers on the, uh, reception table, or whatever it is, as you're leaving. You want to make sure that you grab those, uh, as you head out the door with the big red circle Japanese sun. Japanese flag looking kind of door. Grab those painkillers, run out here, and it's going to trigger a kind of long cutscene that you can't skip. Uh, so this is a good spot to end the video because I don't like making my videos extremely long. So we'll pick up the second half of chapter two uh, in a moment here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bone Sickle. You're awesome. You rock. Uh, video response. See you in a minute. What a view.